If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Welcome to Zarin Tech on Reporting as a Service. Reporting as a Service, also known as ROS, is a feature in Workday that allows you to expose custom reports as web services that can be called from Workday Studio integrations. This video including examples, images, and references are provided for informational purposes only. Complying with all applicable copyright laws is the responsibility of the user. Without limiting the rights under copyright, no part of this document may be reproduced, stored or introduced into a retrieval system, or transmitted in any form or by any means. Credits shall be given to the images taken from open source and cannot be used for promotional activities. In this video we will cover Reporting as a Service, ROS Workday Outrest Transport Alternative Outputs Workday enables you to expose advanced custom reports as web services that can be called from studio integration. When you enable a custom report as a web service, Workday generates a unique ROS namespace for the report, using the format, earncom.workday.report/report underscore name where report name is the name of the report. The ROS namespace remains fixed even if the report owner changes due to transfers of ownership or the report name changes. This prevents integrations that rely on the report's output from being unable to retrieve data if the report owner changes. Workday does not verify that a changed ROS namespace is unique. If you have any integrations that use the report, you will have to update them to use the new ROS namespace. Reports that are enabled as a web service must have labels defined for all columns, prompts and related business objects. The Workday Outrest is a synchronous, request-response transport that sends Workday application request messages to an HTTP URL. In this transport, you configure an extra path that is the Workday system path to which the REST request is sent. To find the extra path of the report, navigate to the report in the tenant and use the Related Actions menu to view the web service URLs. Then click on the Workday XML link to view the report in a browser window. You can copy the extra path out of the browser URL. In the extra path of the Workday out REST component, the default REST URL retrieves the Workday XML. Alternatively, you can retrieve the alternate formats available by using the in format on the end of the extra path. Examples are provided for retrieving simple XML and CSV formats. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe our channel to get more informative videos on reporting as a service. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.